Hello students, welcome to the channel Chori Maths. I want to believe you're good and you're fine. So I'm going to be solving this question and I want you to listen and learn. Now this is a question that I'm going to solve under a, uh, indices. Hmm. Now if you check, this is the same with this, is the same with this. Alright, so we can actually add it. Now adding it will be 3 of it, which is 3 into what, 3 to the super x. And this is equal to what, 3, 3, 3. So I'll divide both sides by 3. Divide here. Okay. So this 3 cancels this 3. So I have 3 to the super x is equal to 1, 1, 1. Okay. What do I now do? To find x, I will take log of both sides. And what does that mean? I will have log 3 raised to the power x is equal to log of 1, 1, 1. All right. Remember, the bases are 10. Okay. So take note of that in case. Though it doesn't really matter, but let me just write it, okay? Now, from one of the laws of indices, we know that if you have log of y raised to the power n base x, then it can be written as n log of y base x okay this is actually vice versa so you can move from left to right right to left okay now having this knowledge we will now come down we are going to have x log of 3 then is equals to log 1 1 1 so to find x is to divide both sides by log of 3 so that we are going to have log 1 1 1 divided by log 3. Okay. Now, having this 1, 1, 1. Let me see. Can 3 divide 1, 1, 1? I have 1, 1, 1. So, over 3. Now, you can see that um, it can actually divide. All right? So, 3 here, 1. 3 into 11 is 3 times. Okay? Remaining 2, then bring it at 21, so it's 7 times. So it can actually go. So therefore, I will have this as x is equals to log of 3 times 37 all over log 3. Now this is together. Now remember there is another law among the laws of logarithms that states that if I have log of um, y base n plus okay log of x base n then it is written as log of as far as the bases are the same log of y times x base n and this goes vice versa so because of that knowledge i will now come down to half my x will be now equals to instead of that I'm going to have log 3 plus log of 37. Now this is all over log 3. Now mathematically, I can express this as log 3 divided by log 3 plus log 37 all over log 3. So you can see that this cancels out so that my x can be expressed as 1 plus log 37 over log 3. Now, this is where you can simplify, you know, uh, to have it in this, except if you wish to keep it in decimal. But for me, let me terminate it here as my answer. So this is how to actually manipulate to work out an expression for x thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe